Hey everyone, Sarah here. I am a student in Dr. Weiler's class just wrapping up the spring of 2021 semester. And so you'll probably be watching this in years to come. Um, I should be graduating in 2022, but feel free to reach out to me um, with any questions on this video or just anything in general if you want. Um, I'll put my contact information down below. Um, but I did wanna show you guys how you would add video to your PowerPoint. So I'm gonna split this video up into sort of two different sections. The first section, I'm just gonna show you real quick how you would add your audio to your slides. And then that way when Dr. Weiler opens up your presentation, he can click on that audio icon and hear your lovely voice as you talk about your um, PowerPoint project. And I'm also gonna show you a way that you can do it where he doesn't have to click and it makes it automatic. So when he opens up your PowerPoint, it just goes right into your talking. And then I'm gonna show you a third option and that is to make your PowerPoint presentation into a video so that um, no one has to click anything other than just opening up YouTube and clicking that link and then hitting play. So um, the first thing I'm gonna show you, this is the most simple thing is just adding audio. So um, real quick, it's super easy. You're just gonna go in and say that you want to insert. So your program is probably gonna look different than mine because my Mac is ancient. It's honestly like, I don't know, 11 years old. <laughs> so you're probably gonna see a different thing on your screen, but the, the word you're gonna look for is the same. You're gonna go up to the top and you're gonna look for where it says insert. Click on that and you're gonna click on audio and then to record audio. So we'll just hit record and as soon as you hit this, it's gonna start recording. Um, give it like half a second before you start talking though because there is that little bit of time you don't wanna cut yourself off. So my, my test phrase will be, my kitty cat is the best kitty cat. Okay, so I'm gonna hit record and my kitty cat is the best kitty cat and you can hit stop and then save. So it gives you this cute little audio icon and you can put that wherever you wanna put it and it will show up when it goes to the actual presentation mode. So just so you know, like if I click on presentation mode, it is right there and if I click on it, it's gonna say my little phrase. So here we go. I'm gonna click on that. And my kitty cat is the best kitty. Okay, and I'm gonna hit escape. So you heard that. So let's say that you don't want to see that icon. Okay, so you go to format audio, and again, it'll probably look different for you, but look for format audio somewhere. And let's say you just don't wanna see that icon. So look for playback options. And I wanna say hide icon during the show. So now when I go, I can see it here because I'm in the edit mode, but once I go to the actual show, it's not there. So another option you have is instead of clicking on it to hear your audio, you can make it start automatically too. So same thing, click on that little icon, look for format audio and say you want it to go automatically so Dr. Weiler doesn't have to click anything you could say, well, okay, I want it to start automatically. So when you go to your um, presentation mode, I'm not gonna click anything other than just this button and it'll start. So listen for that. And my kitty cat is the best kitty cat. Right, so it's pretty cool. And um, you have lots of options, like I said, with making it uh, clickable, making it start automatically, making it hidden. So you can do that for each and every slide. I did personally, I did do it that way because it's nice to um, not have to say everything perfect from start to finish for your whole presentation. So you can take it slide by slide and just talk about the stuff on that one slide and make it sound the way you want it to sound. And, um, and then you have a nice polished presentation. So let's say, actually let's just practice. Let's say I wanted to record audio on this slide and I messed up. My kitty cat is the, mm, um, I forget. Oh, okay, well, now what do I do? Well, you can hit save, you can hit cancel. Let's say I accidentally hit save 
and I go, oh, I don't, <laughs> that's a bad one. I don't want that. So I'm going to say just hit delete and then you can do over. So that's really nice. So this is how you do the basic audio on your presentation and then you could submit that as your project. Let's just say though that you wanted to make it a movie. So I actually did make mine a movie. If you don't want to make yours a movie and you're like, uh, girl, that's way too complicated. You can just stop the video now. <laughs> um, and the next little bit, I'm going to show you how you would make your presentation a movie. So this is actually mine. Um, I have it on YouTube. So I made mine a movie. How did I make mine a movie? All right, so basically I combined what I just told you about making things automatic so everything would play um, automatically as you hit so the space bar and go to the next slide. So um, I'm trying to think how I can explain this. So let's say I open up my presentation. So here I am in, in PowerPoint and I open up my presentation and I go to the presentation mode. So now this is automatically playing. So I didn't have to speak at all during my recording of the video. Um, so in that way I could make it a movie without having to make sure I spoke perfectly from start to finish. All I had to do was I just advanced to the next slide. So I hit the space bar and then on this next slide my audio would play, waited for that audio to finish, and then I hit the space bar and went to the next slide as I was recording my screen. So that is how I did my video. But then you're saying, well, shoot, how do you record your screen? Okay, well, there are online free web-based options to record your screen, and I'm sure they're great. I actually played around a lot with one of them today. I spent the last couple of hours actually um, kind of fiddling with this one, and it is interesting. I kind of liked Flex Clip is what it's called. Um, I liked it, but... It's one of those they kind of get you where it's like you make your whole project and then they want to charge you. And I I don't know. If you have a subscription to them or you have lots of money, go for it. I don't know. They're okay. I, I thought it was pretty user-friendly. Um, there's another one I found here, and that was ScreenCapture.com. I'm sure it's kind of the same deal. And the other problem I was having with these was it was not really easy to make it record my um, the voice like the so when you're playing your presentation you want your speakers to pick up your voice as it's playing from your slides so in other words you you want your speakers to have an input in the microphone even though it's gonna sound tinny it's gonna sound like a recording of a recording because it is you do want that um, you do want some kind of audio, even if it's not the microphone, maybe it's the internal audio. I could not get it to consistently use the audio, <laughs> so I would have a silent screen as it was playing. Anyway, I don't recommend these. If you want to play with them, that's great. Um, you go for it. But you can see here's the plan options for the flex clip. And they have like a, a time limit. So even though it says free here, they only allow you to, uh, oh yeah, a video length up to one minute. <laughs> so that's not going to work for your program or for your assignment here. So what I recommend is that you use QuickTime and it's super duper easy. I think it's the easiest thing in the world. Um, so I'm going to show you just how to use QuickTime. So you may have to search for it on your computer. Like I had to go to applications and then scroll down and select it. So it may not automatically be on your desktop. If you have Windows, you probably just do a quick search, quick search for QuickTime, and you'll find it. And once it's open, seriously, all you do, it's so awesome. You just right click on it and you would select new screen recording. And unfortunately, since my screen is recording right now. I can't show you that. I'm going to show you that in a second little addendum video. Once this one is, once you get to the end of this video, I'll, I'll kind of show you how to actually do the rest of it. But um, you would click new screen recording and then a little box is going to come up and it's going to have a little circle in the middle and you would just hit that circle 
it's very intuitive. And then you're basically recording your own screen, just like I am right now. So to do your video, you're gonna need to record your screen. So you're gonna select that little dot. Um, once the, that box pops up, you'll hit record. And then it's gonna start like here, let's say. I, let's say I've just hit that record button. All right, so now I need to start my PowerPoint presentation. So go here to the slideshow view. And my kitty cat is the best kitty cat. And you just have to remember to sit back quietly and not really make any noise because as you're recording your screen, it's gonna pick up any background noise. <laughs> um, so even as I advance to the next slide, I tried to make my little space bar like kind of quiet instead of slamming it like that. Then my next audio would start automatically on this slide and I would wait for it to finish. And then once it's finished, then I hit my space bar again and go to the next slide as I'm just recording my screen. Then once that is done and your presentation is done all the way through, just remember you have your audio going automatically on each slide so you don't have to talk during your video. Um, once your video is done, then you would just go up to here and I'm not gonna do it because I'll stop this video, but then you would click on this little button here and that's gonna stop your video. And then after that, then you have your QuickTime file. You just edit it, trim it down and save it and then upload it to face. I mean, not Facebook, you upload it to YouTube. So that is it. It was actually really simple. I know it probably looks kind of complicated, but, um, QuickTime is very easy to use. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna put my contact information down below and so you guys can feel free to contact me about this project, about Canva. I'm gonna put a link to um, another video that I'm gonna do on Canva for the infographic. Or if you just have any questions about like the academic stuff or just SLP stuff in general. I'm actually also a PT assistant. So if you have questions about that, <laughs> feel free to just reach out. Um, I'm always available. And I know Dr. Weiler is also really awesome about answering questions and being there for you guys. So I hope that makes sense. I hope I didn't thoroughly confuse everyone. <laughs> um, just remember, if you want to keep it simple, just do the audio. Like I said, it's just, you just go up to insert audio, record audio, and do your thing. Super simple, you guys. Have fun with this project. It's I know it's the end of the semester and you guys are kind of getting tired, but it is kind of a fun project and I hope you do well with it and I hope you do well with the rest of your academic pursuits. Best of luck to you guys. Okay, so before I go, I did want to show you guys how you would trim down your QuickTime clip and then put it on YouTube. So you may have already figured that out, and if that's the case, then you can just stop this video. But if you don't know how to do that, I'm just going to show you real fast. So you would right-click again on your QuickTime player, and you're going to open up that file that you did. So mine was called Instructional Video. And so this is actually my clip that I made on QuickTime. This is actually not PowerPoint, obviously, because you can see the little um, toolbar here where I would hit play. So this is my QuickTime clip. I'm going to go up and um, let's say I wanted to trim off the first part where you see my cursor going down and opening PowerPoint, let's say, and um, all that, so which you don't want in your actual movie. So you go up to edit and it might look different again. So you just find edit. Um, wherever it is for you and then you scroll down to trim and then it's going to pop up this little toolbar down here and you can see where your clip is and let's say at the beginning I have like I said where you see my desktop picture and my mouse cursor moving and opening up PowerPoint let's say I want to trim that part off so you would just slide this little thing here to where you want your actual movie to start and then you would say trim um, this is actually, I don't want to trim any of mine, so I'm just going to leave it like it is. But you could do the same thing on the other side if you want to trim the back end. And you can do both the, the end of it and the beginning. So you just select however much of that moving you want, and then you would, you would hit the trim button here. And once you do that, then it's, it'll trim it um, to wherever you want it to be. And then you're going to go up here and you're going to select the um, however you want to save it. So mine's grayed out because 
I already did, but you would save it under whatever file name you like. Then once that's done, you can close out QuickTime and then you would go to YouTube. So I'm just gonna open up another YouTube channel, or I mean my YouTube um, website, and I'm gonna go to my own channel and go to this little icon here that's, that's you and then your channel. And if you want to upload that as a movie, then you just look for the little plus sign up here and click on that upload video. Now I actually have some more edits to make, so I'm actually not going to upload it, but I'll show you how you would do it. You go select files and then you would find that file that you just made, instructional video, and then you would select open and that's how you would upload it to YouTube and it walks you through the rest of it. So that's pretty simple. Again, I hope that wasn't too confusing. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions at all and best of luck with the rest of your semester.